Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm super sorry I haven't been uploading. And I'm also sorry for the horrible lighting. I was going to film this video earlier today, but I wanted to clean my room, so I got that done. And once that was done, my mom was like, hey Eva, you got an eye doctor's appointment. And then I had to go to that. And they needed to di 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 dilate, dilate my eye so that they could look into it and make sure that my eye was fine. Um, uh, so my I got my pupil got huge and uh, my close up vision was blurry. So I wasn't about to film in front of a camera like back from here like hey guys so I just waited so sorry for the not amazing lighting it actually kind of looks good it actually kind of looks like I'm filming in the middle of the day now that I'm looking at it but you know what who cares all right but today I'm doing my thoughts on Blair Wilson and I'm sorry I'm doing this video in February I know I meant to do this but then I just didn't so here we are today doing it um so yeah let's get started I'm actually here with Blair wait wait a minute wait 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 Wait, wait, what? Okay, yeah, the, the, this isn't Blair. This is number 33, my doll, Erin. Uh, by the way, I just wanna show you guys her hair. Cause, cause I love it. Okay, so the first thing about Blair that I don't like these are all the things that I don't like about her. I will say the things that I do like about her at the end, but that's not the point. Uh, she looks too much like number 33. I know that there's not, like... I know that she doesn't look that much like number 33, but when you really think about it, they didn't darken the hair that much, and they just plopped in a Josefina face mold along with some hazel or greenish eyes i don't care i'm still gonna say that she looks too much like number 33 because she does and uh, okay she's not a doll of color i know that a lot of people including myself we're hoping that she would be a doll of color because American Girl just plopped right out with Luciana and we were like, oh my gosh, it's a doll of color. Yay. And Blair came out, I was pretty disappointed. Uh, well, when the photos of her leaked, I was really disappointed. Um, I really wanted another doll of color. Even just a Latina doll, that would have been great. Another one, because we only have two. We only have Marisol and Luciana so far. And even though, I mean, who cares if Luciana was right next to Blair and both of them were Latina dolls. I don't care. I just think that it would be really cute. I really wanted Blair to be a doll of color. I don't know. I just think it would have been really nice. Also, just... She looks too much like number 33. All right. She has no special looks. So for Luciana, Luciana had that strip of hair, that strip of purple hair, and we all went crazy. We all went crazy because we were like, oh my gosh, American Girl is finally giving doll, hey, like dolls, uh, unnatural hair colors. So like blue, purple, pink, all that kind of stuff. But it started out with a little streak. Who cares? It was so special. And it really stood her out from the rest of the Girl of the Years. Because she was the only one with a streak of 
uh, purple hair or a streak of just some different colored hair. Like, Krissa was special because she had uh, two best friends that were made into dolls. She was also the first girl of the year to have a movie. And just most of them have special things. Not all of them do, but a couple of them did. Most of them did, like, even if it was just the movie, like Grace, she happened to be, like, her movie happened to uh, combine with Master Chef Junior, which was a huge thing. I really enjoyed that movie, and it was just a great thing. Loved it so much, but... <sighs> Claire doesn't have anything special. She's just got this huge family kitchen outdoor patio thing. Like, that's not special. And it's too big and too expensive. I don't like it. Like, even though I'm going to mention someone that's not a girl of the year, um, <coughs> Mary Ellen, she has an RV and a diner. I don't know if she has the diner anymore, but still, like, maybe giving Blair something to do with camping. You know, like, I really wish that they made, that they gave Blair something special because she has nothing special at all. She just happens to have red hair that's curly and looks exactly like number 30. Also, a lot of her stuff looks a bit too similar to other doll items. Oh, guys, I just want to show you. I got Blair's meat shoes. Like, aren't they amazing? No, they're not because guess what? These are Julie's meat shoes. I know that her meat shoes look only similar to Julie's because there is a small difference. I literally looked up close to the picture. Even because, even though they're not the exact same, they look a little too similar for them to both be neat outfit shoes. I really wish that there was some different shoes for her. <coughs> also, I'm just going to put this out there. Uh, I don't know. Is it, does she have a llama? Or is it a sheep? I don't know what it is. But Krista had a llama, just so you know. So, uh, that is a little too similar. Also, I'm going to put a picture of her bridesmaid dress, like, up here. And just look at it. Does it remind you of another dress that we've had before? Because it really reminds me of Rebecca's old dress. And I don't know if it's the dress that literally, like, retired not too long ago. Her holiday outfit. I, I have a picture of it on my wall. I'll, I'll show it to you guys later. Um... But it looks a little too similar. Here's the picture on my wall that I was looking at. It's from an American Girl uh, catalog. So if you look right down there, it says Rebecca's Holiday Outfit. And that's what that is. And I don't know if it's that one or the one before it, but it really looks too similar. And lastly, her collection is kind of weak. Like, American Girl just came out back in 2019, or 2018, with a space shuttle. A space shuttle. And now you're giving us a little stupid family outback patio thing? No! No! -ho -ho. Her collection is way too weak. I mean, usually I want to get the entire collection, like... For a doll, like, I do actually want the entire collection for Luciana, and I want the entire collection for, like, Mia St. Clair, and for a bunch of other dolls, 
But for her, out of the 17 things that they have so far, I only want four. Her meat dress for girls because, duh. Well, actually five because I want the meat dress for girls and the meat dress for dolls because I really want to wear that. And I also want my dolls to have it because I'm not buying Blair. Um, also, her floral flare outfit. Sorry about that. And um, her gardening outfit and her little piggy thing. Her piglet thing e thing. Those are like the only things that I want. I don't want anything else. All the other things look stupid to me. Um, and overall, Blair just isn't good. Now, I don't mean this to offend anyone who absolutely loves Blair and thinks she's the best doll ever. I just really hate her. And she's not good. And even if you don't agree with some of the things that I've told you guys today, I personally think that all of these things really add up and show that Blair just isn't a good doll. I don't know, maybe her story could be like, oh my gosh, amazing, but I'm not about to read it <coughs> or listen to an audiobook about it because I just really don't want to. And uh, I just don't want to take the time to do it because I don't like reading books that don't interest me and that book does not interest me at all. So yeah. Now for the pros of Blair or like the good stuff about her. So I just told you guys all the cons about her. Here are all the pros. Her meat outfit is adorable. Her piglet is cute. Her, her story seems nice. But I like Luciana better. Yes. That is seriously all I have for the pros or the good stuff about Blair. I really don't like this doll and I really wish American Girl had something better and maybe in the summer they'll give us some huge they'll give us a movie please give us a movie along with some amazing stuff that really make her collection worthwhile if any of you guys have any disagreements with me or you have anything to add on then tell me in the comments down below because i might do a part two to this if I think of anything else. So yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.